All right, guys, today I'm showing you how to install this transfer case motor in your uh, BMW 525XI, 530XI, 535XI, uh, and also the 330s. It's probably from about 2006 to 2010. It's the XI and X-Drive. I'll put the specific vehicles in the description of the video. So let's get started. All right, so first, um, here's the gear up in there. We're gonna have to lower the exhaust down right here. And then in the back on this plate, we're gonna drop this uh, metal plate too. All right, these first bolts are E10s and they are uh, the special star type socket You could probably use a socket with a lot of teeth. I recommend getting the special star socket so you don't strip anything All right, leave this one right here in place for now. We're gonna go all the way back to this exhaust hanger on the rear diff Right up in there and mine is missing a nut so I don't know what size it is but we're going to take this off and leave that uh, black cover right now because the exhaust is going to drop down and that way that cover right there catches it. Alright, after that exhaust hanger, you'll come to the very back of the car. We'll have one right next to the mufflers right here. And the bolt is a, or the nut is a 13 millimeter, and then one after the muffler right up in there with another 13 millimeter nut so the one that mine didn't have a nut i'm assuming that should be a 13 millimeter nut on there i forgot to mention this bracket right here has two 13 millimeter nuts and just be careful when you do that because the exhaust will drop but it will stop here on this bar in the back all right now i'm going to remove this black support bar right here just should be four 13 millimeter nuts, one in each four holes at the edge, and then we will move that cross uh, beam in the back that the exhaust is sitting on right now. All right, after that, um, we're gonna drop this support piece right here. Make sure you have a floor jack on your mufflers holding up, but one bolt right here in the back which is an 18 millimeter and then we'll go around to the side of the car and there's another bolt under this cover right here which is also 18 millimeter and the cover should just pop off it's just plastic this cover just right here is just plastic clips and then here's your other 18 millimeter they'll need a drop Okay, after you drop those two bolts, you'll need to drop this plastic tray right here to get to the third bolt holding this cross member. It should be one bolt in here and the other one right in the back right here. All right, the last nut you drop right here is actually a 13 millimeter. All right, after you do that, you should be able to access all these eight millimeter nuts on this cover. You'll have these along this side. Um, one up in there. And then um, you will have another one in the back. And there's a hole in mine. I'm not sure if one got ripped out. But you should be able to pull the cover out after. Alright, looks like we'll have to drop the entire exhaust to drop that pan cover so you want to take these nuts off right here which are 12 millimeters on the exhaust and then you can drop the exhaust I would recommend using an impact so you don't snap anything or break them and some rust penetrant and it should break them loose all right after you drop your exhaust I pulled mine out from the back after I loosened up the four nuts you can uh, work on dropping this cover. 
All right, after you drop the exhaust, I pull mine up from the back. You can drop this cover, which it'll be easier to remove this little bracket right here. It holds your exhaust, but you can leave it in place. I think I'll remove mine when putting my cover back up. But for the cover, here's uh, the hardware you pull out of it. You have two nuts holding it. And I had uh, four, uh, five bolts holding mine. And you should be able to drop the cover. All right, after you remove that cover, you'll have access to the um, this gear. And first you'll want to loosen this plug right here which is a E6, so you can get to the third uh, bolt on here. All right, after you get it unplugged, you'll be able to move this around, and then get to the last bolt. You'll want to uh, cut the zip tie and unplug this. All right, after you get those unplugged, you can undo these three bolts right here, which are E10s, one, two, and three and you should be able to remove the gear all right guys before you pull it make sure you have something to catch the fluid because it is going to leak fluid i'm going to change my island as quick as possible to lose the least amount of fluid all right after you put your e10s back in place um you tie up this e6 for your plug and put your plugs back in place um I don't know if someone put a wire tie on mine after, but I think I'm going to run another wire tie through mine on the bigger plug because it doesn't want to seem to clip in real well, so I'll just run a zip tie through there. Alright, got this cover back in place. It was pretty easy. Uh, the uh, bolts are 8 millimeters, the nuts are 10. Alright, now I'm going to start by reassembling the back of the exhaust and that way it will be easier to hang up the front and we're going to be putting these 13 millimeter nuts back on the exhaust bracket and we'll move to the next exhaust bracket. Alright, I used a jack to jack up the back of the exhaust so I could get um, two of the nuts in place. Now I'm going to go around to the front of the exhaust. And I'm going to try and lift it by hand or just use a jack under it and lift that up and slide that into place. Using a jack will be much easier. So I recommend just putting a jack under and lifting it up. Alright, after that we're going to put back this support beam, uh, which is these 18 millimeter bolts. And then you have one in the middle, this middle part, which is a 13. And then after that, we'll put the covers back into place. All right, after you get your uh, sport beam up, put this put this cover on right here, which has two eight millimeter bolts. You took off one right up there and one in the back. All right, after that, uh, we're gonna put up this black plate right here with the four bolts, which are four 13 millimeter bolts. And it goes right up in there covering the exhaust all right after that covers back up we're gonna put this little bracket on the bottom of the exhaust which goes right here and one bolt goes through middle one goes on the end right there and it just clips on through a little hole and they're both e10 and the longer one goes in the middle last you'll need to put this plate up which i accidentally put this 10 millimeter nut up right there that one right there and then the other end will go right there where that little clip is. And you'll be putting the screw, screws through there. One of them's the eight millimeter, the other one's that 10 millimeter nut. All right, if you guys had any questions, comment down below. Make sure you guys got everything put back up. And if you liked the video, leave a like. And if you wanna see more content, subscribe.